Well, a new Miss Bahamas World was crowned last night at the Bahama Convention Center in Cable Beach. The much-anticipated pageant featured some of the best and brightest women in the country. But while all of them were winners, only one could wear the crown. Nine beautiful young women comprised this year's Miss Bahamas World pageant contestants. On stage, they strutted their swimsuits and were poised in their evening gowns. The number went from nine to five and then three. The final three had to answer one question to impress the judges. But the moment the crowd was waiting for was the announcement of the winner. The new Miss World Bahamas is Miss Malala. Gina Thompson, who was Miss World Long Island, entered this year's pageant for a second time after she was close to winning the title last year. Her court includes first runner-up Miss World Abaco, Sharonique Russell, and second runner-up Miss World Grand Bahama, Jarrell Strawn. The new queen told reporters at the post-pageant press conference that she transformed herself to ensure she won the crown. After not being successful in my quest for the crown, I took the year out to kind of go into a cocoon and repaint my wings and think about what is it that Gina wants to show the world? What is it that she wants to leave? Which, which mark is it that she wants to leave in the world? And so I came back this year more dedicated and more confident that I was the one who should be Miss World Bahamas. This young lady is going to make some serious waves at Miss World, so stand by. Miss Bahamas World Organization President Michelle Malcolm noted that the pageant's technology, including an app and website, played a huge role in Bahamians participating in the voting process. Bahamas, I just want to encourage you to please throw your support behind this young lady. She has, in two months and 15 days, um, a mammoth task of representing the Bahamas at Miss World, which... You know, she'll be competing against 120 contestants from around the world. And this year they are introducing a, what they call a head-to-head -head challenge where they will pick countries against each other and votes will determine who advances. So this voting thing for us tonight was a dry run. We want everybody in the Bahamas to support her and vote and get her in. Ms. World Bahamas offered these words of advice. I want to encourage you all, firstly, to go after your dreams wholeheartedly and do not quit because you feel as though you've tripped over a hurdle. Pick yourself up and continue going because we all have a purpose in life that we have to fulfill.